Hi everyone, it's Chelsea from Polish and Beyond and today I have a massive nail polish haul to share with you. I have 13 different polishes that I've purchased over the past month and a half-ish and I also have a bunch of stamping plates that I ordered from Born Pretty Store because I am obsessed with their stamping plates. So let's get right on into all this stuff. So first off, I placed an order from Head to Toe Beauty. I picked up two of the China Glaze polishes from their summer collection. I wasn't super impressed with that collection just because I personally am not a huge fan of shimmers. So I picked up two of the creams that intrigues me the most. First up, we have this orange polish. This one is called None of Your Risky Business, and it is just a basic but really bright orange cream. This one, the formula was really nice. It was opaque in two coats, very easy to apply. I did have a problem with this chipping super fast on me. I'll probably try a base coat with it next time, but it was still a pretty color. This other one I love. It is called Lime After Lime. Lime after lime. If you fall, I will catch you. I'll be waiting. Lime after lime. Anyways, this is a super pretty, bright, limey, pastel neon polish. So pretty. I was a little bit concerned that it was going to be similar to Grasses Lime Greener, and I didn't want them to be complete dupes, but they are not. Grasses Lime Greener is on the top, it's a little bit more yellow toned, and here's Lime After Lime, it's a bit more cool toned, so love both of them. Lime After Lime also has a great formula, it's opaque in two coats, and I love this color. Also from Head to Toe Beauty, I picked up two random Orleys. This first one is called Vintage. This was from their spring collection. It's a super pretty like minty teal shade. I have a problem. I have like three or four dupes of this. Like here, here is China Glaze Two Yacht to Handle. Same color. This Pop Beauty Mint Magic. Same color. Also Color Club Blooming same color, but I am just obsessed. I gotta buy them all. The other Orly I got is just this random one. It came out several summers ago, I think. Not quite sure, but it is called Beach Cruiser. I remember someone commented on my top 10 favorite pinks video that this is a super awesome hot neon pink that didn't need a white base, so I decided to pick it up. It is super bright. I'm obsessed with it. It is opaque in like two to three coats, depending on how thick you do your coats, but it is so stinking bright and I did not need a white base to go with it. And the last two polishes I ordered from Head to Doe Beauty are these two color clubs. These are the two that I was missing from the Poptastic Pastel Neon collection. I got the other five for my birthday and they were sold out of these two so once they restocked I picked these up to have the full collection. So this first one is called Diggin' the Dancing Queen. Feel the beat on the tambourine. And this one is just your basic pastel light purple. And this other one is called Hot 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 Pants. This one is kind of like a peachy, corally pastel, super pretty shade. So now I've got the full collection of these, and I did mention in my birthday haul when I got the rest of them um, that I would do a review of those once I got the full collection, and a lot of you wanted to see that. So I swatched them all yesterday, and that review will be up shortly for you. Then a few weeks back, Zoya was running a sale on their new summer collections, the Sunsets collection and the Seashells collection. I think it was buy one get one free, I think, not positive, but I picked up two of them. This first one is from the Sunsets collection, which was the cream half. This one is called Dory, which I think is awesome because of Finding Dory coming out, or it came out, haven't seen it yet. But really, really pretty blue shade, awesome formula, it's not a one coater like they advertise them to be. I had used two coats, but still, awesome shade. The other one I got is from the Seashells collection, which was their Pixie Dust release. They're, they brought them back. So this one is called Levi. It is a gold holographic Pixie Dust. Super fine particles in here. Love this. I have not used this one yet, so I'm not sure of how the formula is, but Hopefully it'll be good. Then the rest of these polishes are polishes that I picked up on our road trip out to Colorado. So they're all very special to me. So let's get into those. So the first polish I got on that trip was from Ulta in the clearance section, which was awesome. Originally $12, I got it for $2.97. This is from the brand Ginger and Liz, which I've never tried before, but I mean they sell for $12, so Hopefully it's good. This one is called Is It Friday Yet? And it says it is a rock and ice effect, 
which I'm thinking is going to be textured, hopefully, because I've been wanting a silver textured polish. So this one is like a bunch of silver micro glitter and it also has some very, very tiny black matte micro glitters in there too. So I hope this is textured so I can have a silver textured polish, but it's super pretty. The next place I found some polishes was at Nordstrom Rack at Mall of America. There I found Lime Crime polishes. I was super surprised to see that. I did not know they sold Lime Crime polishes. I went there with the intention of finding Cirque Colors polishes, but they did not have any. I thought I heard they might have been discontinued. I have no idea. Anyways, they did not have any there, but I found some Lime Crimes, and I had three of them that I won in a giveaway like a year or two ago, and so these are two that I didn't have. This first one is called Peaches and Cream. Nice pastel neon peachy shade. And this other one is called Pastel Chio. This one is like super bright, but still kind of pastel. Really springy green shade. So yeah, I know Lime Crime is not the greatest brand, especially with all like the problems they've had fairly recently. But I figured since I was buying them from Nordstrom Rack and not directly from Lime Crime, that it would be okay. So picked these up. I think they're like $4.97 a piece, so not too bad. Then, I forget where we were along the trip, it might have been, it wasn't Wyoming, I don't think it was South Dakota, maybe, Min maybe it was Minnesota, I have no idea, okay, anyways, I found another Ulta, looked at their clearance section, and I found Nails Inc. Baker Street, which I have wanted for quite some time, YWP says it is a dupe for Pacific Blue, not quite, but it's still a super pretty color. And it was on clearance for $1.97, so I could not pass that up. And that Ulta had like the best clearance department ever. They had so many polishes, and they even had like Essie Starry Starry Night, like from their reformulated revival collection that they brought out. I didn't get it just because I know a lot of people didn't like it as much as the original, so I passed on it. It was still like $5, so I just picked up this one, $1.97, yay! And the last nail polish I bought on the trip was in Chicago, which was amazing. Check out that vlog, wherever I link it. I, I can't remember what corner it's in. Anyways, I was super excited to find this one because it's the last lime crime I was missing. I mean, they also have a neutral one, but who wants that? So this is the yellow one. It is called Crema de Limon. Super pretty pastel yellow. Love this shade. Can't wait to use it. So again, I know Lime Crime isn't the best and I don't prefer to get them, but again, it was through Nordstrom Rack, so I feel like it's not as bad. And now I have the full collection, minus the neutral, but yeah, super happy for that. So those were all the nail polishes I bought recently. Now moving on to some Born Pretty Store stamping plates. I'm obsessed. Now just as a disclaimer, these I did purchase with my own money. I do get sent some Born Pretty Store stuff for review, but I do love their stamping plates and they had a sale, I think it was 50% off all their stamping plates, so I stocked up on a bunch. So I did get three of the little round plates, so we'll start off with those. This first one has some Christmassy designs, there's like reindeers and holly ornaments, and it also has some random fireworks designs up there. So not sure about that, but super cute Christmassy ones too. This next one is an Eastery plate, which is super cute. Love the little eggs. There's little bunnies down here. Very cute. This one's also super fun. It has a bunch of like triangly geometric designs. Love this one, but I like those arrows. This one's super cool here. Awesome plate. Then moving on, I got five of the huge rectangular plates. Yep. This first one is kind of odd. It has like a bunch of like Russian dolls down here, but I bought it for like the Fair Isle kind of prints, like that one, that one. This one has like cool snowflakes on it. There's also this cute elephant down here. Sorry for the glare that I didn't even notice when I bought it. Cool feather. Then here's another one that has some geometric designs. I really love these spiral ones. Super cool. Along here, there's like some kind of damask slash lacy looking ones that are fun. I also got this summery plate, which is super cute. I love these little starfish up here, adorable seashells, and then a bunch of like surfing Hawaiian-y kind of designs down here. And I already used this plate, so the blue cover isn't on it anymore. I used this design right here. It's like a hibiscus-y tropical design. Did it over a ombre of the Virgo varnish bleach neons. Oh my goodness, incredible. I'll pop a picture up here. Anyways. I am obsessed with this plate. It has a bunch of different florally designs. There's like daisies and roses, and it's so, so cute. 
And finally, this last plate, again, I used it already, so the blue cover isn't on it, um, has a bunch of just like basic designs. There's chevrons, there's polka dots and hearts and stuff. I did use the star one for a 4th of July manicure, but super fun plate. A lot of basic designs that everyone can use. And I almost forgot, I did get one more thing in that Born Pretty store order. It's just this little pot of little round pastel neon glitters. Just loose, you can use them for glitter placement. Super cute. So that was my massive nail polish and nail art haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. So first off, I went to, um, what is it called? I don't know. <laughs> so first off, I went and placed a fairly small order. Blah, 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 blah. Mm, I don't know how to describe this color. It's super, super bright. I'm every... Meh. Shut up! Oh no, I never said the names for those color clubs. Crab on a cracker. Start that over. Can you focus back on me, please? Can you focus back on me, please? Thank you. My name's Blurry Face. I care what you think. Blurry's the one that I'm not. Focus back on me.